Recently, there was a bill proposal in Congress to start having a four-day work week in the United States. If this became a law, it would have a huge impact on the way we think about work-life balance and it would end a 90-year reign of the five-day work week in our country. Three-day weekends would no longer be that rare treat that you get on a holiday, but it would be something you have every single week. Imagine that. Weekends could be a time for you to truly enjoy yourself instead of just recharge from the week and finally get around to doing your laundry. Now, the bad news is this bill is unlikely to become a law at this time. I'm not sure we're there quite yet as a country, but I still think it has a really good impact in that it's getting us to talk about the four-day weekend as a feasible idea for us to implement in the future. And it reflects a larger trend that we're seeing in other countries like Iceland and Spain, both of whom have been experimenting with the four day work week and it's seems like it's a pretty good thing for them so far. And honestly, I'm so thrilled every single time I see headlines like this because I think the four day work week is absolutely the future. So many things about our work life and our relationship with work as a country have changed since the pandemic. Just think about remote work. So many businesses were against it pre-pandemic, but now it's something that we realize we can do and it's feasible and people are still productive, sometimes even more productive. Why not see what the four day work week can do for us? And in my opinion, based on a lot of research that's coming out these days, the four day work week could actually be a really good thing for all of us. With all that being said, I realize how big of a change it would be to shave off one fifth of the work week that has been reigning supreme for almost a century in our country, but I think it's really the future. And so here is my case for the four day work week. First off, people are exhausted. Last year, the Society for Human Resource Management found that 48% of US workers feel mentally and physically exhausted at the end of the workday, while another 41% report feeling burned out from their work. It's part of why we're seeing the great resignation continue on, with 38 million workers quitting in 2021. Now, the pandemic certainly exacerbated these feelings of exhaustion and burnout that workers are experiencing, but these feelings did not just pop up in the last two years. So you would think that the more productive we become, the more free time we would have because we're saving time, we're being more efficient. I mean, just take like doing an email. Back in the day, you might have had to fax something. It would take 10 minutes to go to the fax machine and do whatever you do with a fax machine. I don't know how those work. But nowadays you can just send an email and have an attachment on there. That saves like 10 minutes of your time. Shouldn't we maybe be getting some of that time back since we're still able to achieve the same results? I mean, we have better systems, better communication, better technology than ever before. And we are so much more efficient than our grandparents' generation was in their working time. <laughs> So why are we still working so much? Studies have shown that we are a more productive workforce than ever, but our leisure time has plateaued since the 1980s. The 80s, we already have passed that fashion cycle around the 2000s. It's been a long time, guys. Well, I think it is time to cash in and get that time back. I mean, why shouldn't we reap the benefits of this unprecedented amount of productivity in our modern world? We have like the tools of God. Oh, what's that? Devil's advocate? Oh, oh, you think it would hurt our economy and businesses? Uh -huh. Well, you're wrong. Actually, studies have shown it helps them. Is that dramatic enough? Devil's advocate was over here and then I'm talking to you guys. So I just wanna show just like the cinema involved in this video. We've talked a lot about productivity and how we are more productive than ever before. And with the four day work week, maybe the fear would be, well, we don't want to reverse that. We like this productivity. Well, luckily, recent studies support the idea that the four day work week is more productive than the five day work week. When Microsoft tested the four day work week with their Japanese teams, productivity jumped 40%. That, that's a lot, that's a lot of percents. In Iceland, a four year study was done on the topic and it found that companies who reduced their hours and days had happier employees, fewer instances of burnout, and their overall productivity stayed the same or improved. This shouldn't be a surprise though. When people are tired, they're not nearly as focused or creative or efficient. I cannot think clearly when I've been working tons of hours. I'm just slower at my job in general. Now give people time to recover and recharge on the other hand, and suddenly you have a much more focused, clear-headed group of people who can better innovate and better execute. 
But productivity alone is not the only benefit of implementing a four-day work week. Companies that offer a four-day work week have much better employee retention. Employee retention is basically having employees stay on longer without quitting, which is great because quitting is super expensive for companies. So a company improving their employee retention is a huge cost saver, and a four-day work week can do that for a company. Not to mention, if you have employees only working four days rather than five, you might actually have fewer bills to pay as the company. So that can also be a nice little money saver. In business terms, this is a good thing. Now as for the economy, if we zoom out, yes, of course the economy benefits whenever the businesses are doing better, they're able to make more money, be more productive, but also the economy benefits whenever people are happier. People spend more money when they're happier, they're able to have more innovative ideas, start new businesses, just have more time. And so the society and the economy along with that benefits as a whole when people are more happy. Beyond the economic and professional benefits of a four-day work week, people's personal lives could drastically improve with one less day of working. An extra day a week means more time to dedicate to your interests outside of work, more time to spend with loved ones or your hobbies or your health or all of them. Parents can have more time being involved with their kids. Side hustle artists can have more time to create. Members of neighborhoods could have more time participating in their community. These are all elements that make up a strong society that is primed to succeed and innovate and evolve with the times. So why wouldn't we want that? I know, I know, a four day work week is a big change. I get it, but I really do think that if these past few years have shown us anything. It is that change is inevitable. We need to embrace it and we need new systems for new times. The way that we've been working in the past with the five day work week and some people working even more than that is an outdated system. And we need to rethink so many different aspects of our culture with work and our relationship with work. And I know that the four day work week is just one aspect of that, but it's an important aspect of it. And it really could set the tone for all these other changes that could come in the future. We need a new balance of work in life. The old way is just not working for people anymore. And so why not go with a four day work week? We have the research that shows it's an effective thing and it makes things better for people. So now it's time for companies and governments to start embracing it. So what do you think? Do you think the four day work week is the future? Do you think that's something that your own company would implement? I'm not sure about mine. I think they would be open to it. They were open to remote work, but it would still be a really big change. And I feel like as more companies start doing it, maybe Maybe they would come around, but I'm not sure. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys like this video and want to see more of it, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know what other topics you want me to make a case for in the comments below as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will uh, see you guys next time I see you. All right, bye. Tomorrow's Monday, which means another five day work week. <sighs>